There's a lot of dwarves in here. Let's see what they need. The dwarf need. peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? Uh, tell him there's no need to be so gentle with the fish. They're already dead. The dwarf shakes his head with irritation before turning back to the fish. You're blocking my light. Go away. Note that he's doing his work with a strange amount of diligence compared to the others. Nothing wrong with taking pride in your work. Roll your eyes and say that it's plain. He's up to something, and it isn't fishmongering. The dwarf grimaces and points the tip of his knife at his handiwork. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to figure out what's happening to them. See if there's anything that can be done. Ask if he needs any help. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand me. Say that you'll eat the fish, if he's sure it'll do some good. Sure. Wonderful. There's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? I'll start with the yellow. The fish instantly churns your insides. You double over in pain. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? Uh... A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. <laughs> he doesn't even look displeased. Catch your breath and say that you saw things, terrible things that you can't even describe. I see. Well, I'm sure it was nothing but a side effect of the fish. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. Uh... Huh. Ask what he learned from observing you. The dwarf puffs up his chest and proudly gestures to the fish. The fish is indeed malignant. Humans are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Um, say that you're willing to try another if the reward is increased to match your efforts. Yeah. Thank you, but no. I can only allow for one specimen per volunteer, or my findings could become flawed. The fish you ate is known as yellow ridgeback. Quite a cunning breed. Often used in concoctions to increase alertness. But this one, touched by the void itself. Who is to say how such a creature might alter an alertness mixture? Seek out somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Adding these um, unique ridgebacks might make quite the impact. So, now my work must continue. As soon as I've got in my quarter of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. Putin? Alertness herb mix. You know what? That's the thing I love about games like this, like really dense RPGs, is that you come across just really weird, interesting characters that they can just write in as like a one-off character that you can go and talk to and maybe have an interaction like that because they need they need characters to fill the the world with and interesting characters are the easiest way to do that. I love it. Bugger off, I'm busy. Well, she's not very friendly. Let's go upstairs here. Talk to this guy who is getting hassled. You see a man, well-fed and wealthy, but stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He tries to ignore your presence, fails. He sighs. See here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arks are held up. Time is money. Don't waste my money. What do you want? Ask what he's shipping to Arks. Fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to Arks. Now, please. There's the door. I suggest you use it. Uh, ask who in Arks is buying void-tainted fish. That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. I don't have any of these. Uh, smile, assure him that you're completely trustworthy. This is not going to work. I don't have enough constitution on this character. Maybe I should just take my leave and come back with a different character? Like, Red? Not before time. Good day. Okay, let's go Red. Hey Red, why are you, you talking? See a man. Well, he tries to see here. I'm very busy. Ask for uh, shipping. Fish. This is a fish factory. Privileged information. I have a trade to protect. Constitution. Yeah, I'm trustworthy. An excellent point. Well made. The answer to your question is, unsurprisingly, a man in a house. A man in a house buys all the void tainted fish I can send him. That dark shadow crosses his face once more. He shivers. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. Does he have anything for sale real quick? He's just got a lot of fish. Okay, I see. 
Tell him it sounds like he struck it lucky. Tell him it sounds deeply suspicious. Tell him you'd like to meet this man. Ask for the address. Absolutely not. I don't give away sensitive information like that to anyone who just asks for it. And I don't keep it lying around, neither. That really is enough now. I'm asking you to leave. Good day. I'm sure we'll find him. I'm sure there'll be a quest marker somewhere. Um, I could kill him. <laughs> you see a man, well fed and wealthy, but stress no. has lined his face and no, narrowed I've, I've his... Already... You took it if he You're not with Loha. Wait, oh, I was supposed to... Sorry, go back. Oh, I didn't realize. Leave. Crap. Crap. I... Dang it. You're still here. Try not to be. I, I figured it was just the same conversation. I didn't realize. And then I heard that you're not with Loha or whatever. So that tells me something's up with this place. Right? Is there something I'm missing about it? Because how would he know about the dwarf thing going on? You know what I mean? Can I go downstairs into here? And I'm just going to look around. Oh, oh, there's a thing there. It is locked. Curious. Where does that go? It goes downstairs. Okay, here's what I'm going to try. Oh, there's a dog. The dog sniffs the wooden decking like there's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong, and it's not right. Ask the dog what it's doing. I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. Tell the dog not to worry, or tell the dog you'll investigate if you can. I'll do that. Be careful down there, missus. You're not smelling what I'm smelling. Uh, no, I'm smelling what the rock is cooking. All right, Red, I need you to, like, move this here. Oops. You really need to leave that alone. Okay. What if... I move her over here? Sneak. Sneaking successful. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But hey, it might. Um, I got these guys like walking around. Uh, pick lock. Good timing, good timing, good timing. Thievery level two. Damn it. <laughs> well, I tried. Something is going on here. But what? What characters can I talk to to try to get into that gate or door or whatever the heck it is? Probably a dwarf. Um, what if I use him to talk to this chick? If any of you see so much as a rat's hair out of place, you tell the magistrate. Looking for a good time, mate. Head downstairs in the Black Bull Tavern. Tell the lummox blocking the way that Blassin gave you a tip off. Huh. Where, but where's that at? Hold on. Is that, is that what that is? Hold on. Yes. Well, no, no, take my leave. I didn't want to click on you. My thanks once no, again. Take your leave. Okay, dwarfy buddy. The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, we've had oh, this conversation. My, I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? Lay a friendly hand on his shoulder and say you're just a fellow dwarf looking to talk. The dwarf brushes your hand off and shuffles back a step or two. I do not have. Uh, I ain't got no time for talking, dwarf or not. I've got to carry on with my job. Say that you can always sense when a fellow dwarf's got a little scheme brewing. What else is he up to? The dwarf appraises you for a moment, then sighs, and jabs his knife at one of the dissected fish. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. Oh, okay, so he's the what same thing. always work here, stranger? You're a dwarf. You should know better than to underestimate your own kin. Uh, I'm apologizing. Ask if there's anything I could help. Yes, as it happens, I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refuse. Well, on your way then. Yep. Is it possible for him to open this? You really need to leave that alone. Okay. Ah, glorified dogs. He must be somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know if I like. Where, where was my last save? Right. So my last save was right here. I think I should do it, so I'm going to back up, and I'm going to have, um, uh, I'm going to have him talk to, I'm going to have Beast talk to the guy, because I just totally screwed up that conversation, because I was trying to skip through it, because I had gone through it already with two characters, so, 
now that I know that's not the case, I am backing it up because that normally, you know, in situations where I made my choice and and that's the one I'm going to stick with. The dwarf peers at an expertly. That's usually what I go with. Gently poking its innards with his knife. But because this was like a, I hit the wrong button. Kind of like the same thing with the kids. I would redo that if I had a earlier save. Oh my! Okay. I mean, no. Uh, uh, gentle with the fish. Continue. Go away. Diligence. pride in your work. The dwarf grimaced. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing Ask a lot of help. Say that you eat a fish. The I eat the yellow one. Sudden, the dwarfs. How do you fix a stream of black bile? Terrible things. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal. The, the, the fish is indeed malignant. Humans are affected by it in the same manner as other species. I'm going to ask about my reward this time. Ah, yes. Of course, of course. But this mightn't be quite what you were expecting. But, um, well, the fish you ate is... Okay, so he's going to give me the same thing. So... Now my I figured he would, which is why I tried to see if that was the case. All right, so let's go up here. Now that we've done that, I feel a little bit better about it now. Um, but now I feel like I need to get Beast to talk to this guy. You see a man, well-fed and wealthy, but stress has lined... You took your time. The Magisters are searching the place, and Lohar needs to get his stuff out of the basement if he doesn't want to lose it. Uh, Take the key. Basement stuff. Got it. Good. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Okay. Good day. Give him a serious nod and walk away. Okay. Meanwhile, Losa. You see a man. Well, he tries to see here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magic. So I'm just going to do the same conversation I did last time with him. Fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish. To That's privileged information. Oh, crap, I have I a trade that. to protect. Not before time. So I I want that information. You see a man. Well, but I forgot to I got to do it with red. I'm very busy. The factory is fish. This is a fish factory. Fourteen That's fish. Privileged. Constitution. An excellent. That done. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to. If I'm absolutely not really. Okay. So. If any of you see so much as a rat's hair out of place, you tell the magisters. I'll take that. So powerful awakening. Then we can get them out, and you can get back to work. I gotta find this person. I gotta investigate Lohar. Um, Rise of the Dwarves. Strangely, strangely, a mysterious man in the house in Arcs is buying driftwood for tainted fish. Hmm. I think I think that's all connected. So, am I able to to open this? I guess Beast would have the key, right? That's not yours. Added search to Beast minus five. What if I sneak? Sneaky. Oh come. On. Okay, I gotta wait for these guys. Who had the key? Was it Beast? I believe it was. Yeah, he's got the key. So I'm gonna give that to Losa. Mostly because she's a better sneaker. Boom, my party is in. Void tainted monkfish, that doesn't sound good. Lots of void tainted stuff. Okay, we got more void tainted stuff. There's a, uh, <laughs> a sweeper, which is a broom. There's some other stuff around here. Didn't they say there was a fighting pit down here? That'd be interesting to engage in. We got a crate. Oof. Oh, you got a team. Watch out. Get off of that. <laughs> okay. It turns out that was a trap. But... That's fine. If I remove Losa, can I like... Are these just gonna fire forever? I think that's the next question I need to ask. Um, here, let's go... Let's remove red. Cause, no, I said let's remove red. Crap, Losa, where are you going? Stay over here. Remove red, thank you. Cause he's, he's currently disconnected, so I can loot this and get that if I want to. Um, this appears to be blocking, so if I take it, put it here, and steal that, just throw this forward, <laughs> and look, if it works, you know, boom, okay, so I can now lead the rest of my team up this way, without them getting uh, completely screwed by that, but it's a matter of Looking around. Okay. I got that fish. I'm not quite sure what it does. 
I bet you it restores like a ton of health or something. Okay, next up, uh, the rest of my team needs scum, so I can probably just click and move these guys. They'll, they'll find the quickest route. And then I can uh, connect. Look out. Oh, I see a really? I managed to trigger another trap? Team, you need to move. Full team. This place stinks. But some of these barrels look interesting. Right, marked barrel. One barrel of fish stands out from the others. It's sealed and marked with a cross. Something about it seems familiar. Break the seal and open it at the barrel. Ooh, ew. Foy tainted? That's exactly what it is. All right, we're gonna close this. Or turn those off or whatever it is. Or not, Don't, not sure what that did. It did, it turned the, the traps off. Okay, good. Uh, we got a couple of chests. Or not chests, but ooh. Those are paintings that um, go for a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna take those. Those are like 400 each, according to that. We'll see if that's actually the case. Might be able to make my money back on all those uh, spell books I bought. And you got more of these. Ooh, tea herbs. More normal fish, okay. It's curious, this area, because like you got all those traps, but what were the traps protecting? I'm a quick save. This definitely looks like some kind of uh, battle arena, but I don't know what I'm gonna fight here. So I'm, I wanna kind of be careful and explore around. We got some gold. Whoops, I just picked up a random crate. Get, get out of here, get out of my inventory. I'll do this stuff though. Ooh, unidentified shield. That shield looks cool. Wow. 88 physical armor, 60 magic armor, plus 21 HP. Heck yeah. Nice, cool looking shield too, which means we can give Beast this real good shield. Bam, huge upgrade. Nice. I'll take it. I like just uh, getting that lucky feat to, to proc every now and again, because it feels like you do get quite a bit out of it. I mean, it's it's pretty rare to happen, but when it does happen, you you know you get you get a lot, whether it be a lot of gold or you know a couple items. I enjoy it quite a bit. Dripping with liquid source, this barrel is sealed and marked with a cross. From the barrel, you sense a familiar power. It thrums in your bones, in your soul. Take a nervous look around. Liquid source attracts bad company. Nothing stirs in the dank and stinking basement, and yet you feel an imminent presence. I'm gonna need a bee for the time being. Huh. So here's my thought. The moment I open that, I have a feeling that this is all, okay. Actually, this is what I want. I want the storage key. Okay, I want the security log. Um, we are going to read said security log. Most important area of focus this month is cell cellular security. Barrels have arrived. Placement of divine 2000 turret barrels complete. Don't stare into the barrels. All right. Well, not that that helped. What were we supposed to get from down here? Nothing, because yeah, that was just them being like, okay, I see. And never mind, I, 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 I'm over here thinking like, oh, is it because that they want us to, um, like, come down and get something, bring it back up to that guy? Obviously not. I don't have to worry about that. But I am going to remove Losa. I'm going to bring Spiel down. So I'm going to have her open this. Dripping with liquid sauce, this barrel is sealed and marked with a cross. Bad company. Nothing stirs and the dank Break the seal. Inside. You find not fish. But weapons, powerful weapons, the kind of weapons the Magisters took from the hollow marshes. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Well, oh, but there's the Void Woken. See, that's why I kept her up there. That's why I was like, I'm moving Losa up there. <laughs> so she can get some kind of height advantage. Um, these are all, these are all lightweights. Okay. And here's the deal. So impalement is pretty big. So is worm tremor. Uh, worm tremor is technically bigger, and it is going to 
do Entangled for two turns, and deal damage based on my intelligence. So I can entangle a lot of these guys. I basically entangle this entire group, and I think that's what I'll do. Boom. Um, I'm going to use this. Because that's great. And I think I'm going to then... It would be nice to use haste on Losa. Let's do that. And she's pretty safe where she's at now, so I'm not too concerned about that. But uh, I am going to use the bleeding thing. The bleed fire there. Alright, so now she has uh, quite a bit of height advantage on these guys, but she's also being attacked up here. So, honestly, I need to burst these guys down. This guy's going at the end, which is not ideal. It may not be bad for me to get my cat. Because now my cat's going to go next and I can get out of here. So I can basically do a free attack on these guys with Ricochet. Now, I was thinking that that would hit both of them, but it didn't. Um, then I could... I could use Tactical Retreat. Maybe I should. But I am going to use my cat. So let's go... Oops, that's not what I want to do. Let's um, Courage. And then we're going to teleport with Losa. Oh, what do you mean target is too far? I don't like that it does that. There we go. Which gets her out of there. Best cat in a <laughs> cat can attack this. Give up. Okay. Tired of fighting. So those are all locked down essentially. So I can go here to this guy. Ooh, I could chain lightning. Because there's source points there. Eight times in an eight meter radius. Let's let's see what it does. Wow, that's very powerful. That's the most damage that Beast has ever done in a round, or a period. That's the most damage he's ever done. Period. Crazy. Um, well, I'll get him to hit this guy and just kill it, please. Ooh. He, they do explode in Necrofire. Oh, there's more of them? What the heck? I didn't even see those guys. I didn't realize that. I wanted to move Losa there if that Let was the case. Done, Losa. Yeah, you growl at me. You beast. Come to me. I alone know your worth. I know you These guys all apparently know me. All right, Seville. It's up to you right now, girl. Um. How do I want to do this? I could fireball and do a ton of damage to these. Or I can impale them, which cripples them for another turn. But they're already entangled. So maybe I impale these guys so that she can get away. I mean, she's going to get away anyways. If I do this, I have the opportunity of killing as many as possible. So I'm going to do that. Look at all that necrofire, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else can I do? I could Medusa head, which might help. Uh, that voidling is going to burst into fire. That void thing is pretty low. I mean, I could kill this one off. Let's do that. Oh, really? Five HP. Ridiculous. Okay, she needs to tactical retreat. She's just coming up over here. Boop. Right, and I could sky shot. Uh, that's two. I could barrage and kill both of those, actually. That may not be a bad idea. 
because then they explode over there away from everybody else, right? So let's do that. So we're going to, how many shots is it? Three. Well, one, how much damage does it do? It's up to 31 max. Okay, so I get extra damage because of being high ground, so that should do it, yeah. Cool. I actually might have been able to hit this guy too. Didn't really think about that. Does anybody need healing? What does Necrofire do? Doesn't make you immune to healing. Good. I think uh, past that, it's like I want to. I want to save. Oh, that one just died. Oh, Beast turn. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and do Soothing Cold. Because it's really good for this. And then I think... I'm going to... Just Shocking Touch, maybe. Maybe. Or I could just attack. He's not going to do too much damage if I just attack. So Shocking Touch isn't a bad idea. I don't really know, you know? Let's uh, let's do Shocking Test, because I haven't done it. it. Stuns him. Almost killed him. Jeez, does a lot of damage. We can also Petrify it. Finish that one off, which kills that one, because everybody's just exploding at this point. Just so many explosions. Um, I feel like I need to move him up and out of this, because I want to finish these guys off. So, can I hit both of them? I got one of them. That guy's still alive. Uh, I can also do this. Which will do mending. Our cat can be awesome. And do some attacks. I love it. I clean the chat There's only two of these guys left. I clean you out, beast. I empty you. I moved all that way and didn't do anything. That one just explodes. And... Uh, she, of course, is too far away to do much. But I really need to move her out of all this garbage. There's more garbage up there. Uh, on Beast's turn, I could try to throw some water down, but honestly, right now, I feel like I just need to move her out. So she's taking some magic armor damage. And uh, I'm going to end her turn there. The oh, and it just exploded. Perfect. All right, beast, please come over here. Everybody come over here. Losa, um, let's connect you. Let's heal everybody up. Well, that was uh, <laughs> quite the battle. And we're gonna get a lot of stuff out of these guys. Lots of gold, actually. Voidlings carry more gold than you might expect. Loot. Loot. Um, I got those good weapons. There is some source over there. I'm gonna give that to Beast. Um, let's rest again. Beast, go ahead and absorb that. That's the only real reason I did the chain lightning is because I knew that I could immediately regain that source point. And I have those three um, vases. Each of those, I can consume the soul and it will give me a, a source point. Now, the thing to consider with that is it also kills one of those undead back on Fort Joy, which they were buttheads to me. I don't care about. So I'm okay with that. And I feel like I'm not sure we learned anything from this, but we learned that there's a lot of bad stuff going on. Some of these barrels are not tainted. Some of these barrels have good fish in them. Which we, of course, could cook into stuff. So that's good. Also, I am now apparently smelly. For, for a lot of turns is what that would normally be. <laughs> like how that person was just said, what's that putrid stench as I walk past? That's really funny. I, we have like barely touched this freaking town and we've already played like like maybe two episodes worth. That's crazy. There's so much content in this one little area. What I want to do real quick is come over to 
this trade ring. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh, that's right, I got this. Awesome. Well, it is awesome, but it is also... Does less damage to my Heartseeker bow. So I'm going to mark that. I'm going to give that to Losa. That two-handed sword, we're going to mark that. We're going to toss that away. I'll mark those. I'm going to give Losa the paintings. Okay. And everything else is pretty okay. So... Let's talk to him. Trading. Good luck to you. Put my junk in there, right? Because I'm getting I'm getting some extra money from those crazy paintings, which I think is funny. Um, we have this robe of power, which is really good. But most importantly, I want to pick up some of these skill books. Like ballistic shot seems awesome. That should be called like sniper shot. Although arrow spray is really good too. Maybe I'll get that one instead. It's a little bit more expensive. Ballistic shot sounds awesome. Reactive shot sounds really awesome. And I think I'm gonna go with reactive shot. So let's balance it out. He's actually giving me some gold. Accept. And let's learn this sucker. Uh, I think I'm totally out of slots on her. But I'm okay with that because what I've got going on at the moment is really nice. I feel like I need to remove pin down because I've got I've gotten a ton of entanglement with Sibyl. So I'm going to reactive shot. And that allows me to lock down an area, which as you can imagine is really, really good. Where is this place? What does this sign say it is? Once this was a tavern or a hotel. Or a brothel. Does that mean this is where I need to go for beast? I believe it is. All right. Ooh, there's a thing over there. I gotta talk to Magister Julian. Is that an update on the thing? Fishy business. We found source weapons in the basement of the fish works. Bring evidence to Master Julian. Oh, I did just sell those. Do I have enough gold to buy those back? I guess I could. I didn't think about that. Let's go buy those back real quick. And then, uh... Yeah. Oops. Nope. Let's buy those two items back. It's the Soulforged Blade. What? Why is that so expensive? Ah, oh, I feel like I've made a mistake. And the Soulforged Crossbow. Oh, come on. He... He did not. He did not buy those from me for that much. He is upselling those suckers. Do I have a do I have a load that was that was nearby? I don't think so. That might be bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to buy those back in order to complete that quest. Let's go do let's do some other things. Get some money, and then we'll buy those stupid things back.